Simulations can only be as good as the inputs and options made available in order to achieve replication to real life. With Autodesk Moldflow Insight already being a powerful tool used by engineers and analysts, we've furthered our intent of helping users match what is done at the molding machine to simulation within the 2018.2 release. Additional features, enhancements, and fixes enable user speed, workflow, and accuracy improvements, making Autodesk Moldflow Insight 2018.2 another exciting release. Continuing efforts to expand optimization capabilities with simulation, we've added an option to include reference to flatness and roundness within the quality criteria of the parametric and design of experiments analyses, enabling easy interpretation of the effects of molding process and geometry changes. The flatness option measures the alignment of a specified group of nodes after warpage whereas the roundness option measures deviation by way of out-of-roundness of specified nodes surrounding curved edges. The improvements made to the multi-barrel injection molding simulation are based around customization in order to match more closely to the actual molding process. These improvements include the ability to add delayed start to the master barrel via time or ram position and new support for valve gates on sub-barrels. Moldflow 2018.2's enhancements to the multi-barrel molding process helps give users more control with where flow fronts meet and how much material to push through each barrel, reducing the need for experimentation at the press. While using the compression molding module within Moldflow, starting in 2018.2, users can notice additional enhancements to stability, accuracy, and speed of solving. We've included the option to change between rigid or flexible charges, enabling users to simulate the charge deforming to the cavity shape when placed in the mold. This ultimately has an effect on fiber orientation, thus providing more accurate results. Also added is the option to use switch to force control for compression clamp force. Identifying features that help streamline workflows for users is a high priority for us. So as with past releases of Moldflow, we looked to the Moldflow Ideas Forum. There, we identified that users were asking for a way to pull centerline curves from 3D cooling channels within Moldflow. Previous workflows for this required CAD software to manually draw the center lines, which results in extra steps and time wasted in order to simulate proper cooling layouts within Moldflow. We've made changes to the Autodesk Shape Manager in this release to support the new centerline extraction tool, reducing the need to exit mold flow to generate beam elements as cooling channels from the CAD model. Another workflow modification we've introduced is an easier bubbler and baffle modeling method, resulting in fewer mistakes with incorrect overlapping segments and property assignments. Functionality improvements have been added to the 2018.2 release with the capability to run a warpage analysis within the resin transfer molding or RTM process. And the final new capability rests within the underfill encapsulation analysis, by which we've added options to simulate multiple dispensing paths and passes, in addition to the ability to specify different volumes used per pass. These enhancements to Autodesk Moldflow Insight help users to embrace simulation and use it to make predictions in order to continue with a smart and methodical approach to plastic part design and manufacturing.